Hi, my name is Dr. Wade Binley. I'm the founder and the clinic director of the IB Solutions Method, which is a functional healthcare delivery system. Today I'd like to talk about deep detoxification, not just the three day, the seven day, or the 21 day cleanses that you see on the internet, or you've been told by a health food store, or some other natural healthcare provider, or you've just decided to do on your own. This is a system of detoxifications that's deep, that's been, that's used in my practice to overcome chronic diseases. You see, the older we get, the more we bioaccumulate, and the more limited our ability to detoxify is. So having this, school, this tool set and the skill set of knowing how to really deep dive into detoxification to improve your life and create optimal health and lifestyle is necessary for, for in today's world because we are filled with toxin exposures. So what I'd like to do here is briefly follow this, this detoxification funnel. And, and in a previous video, I've done a, a, about a 15 minute video that explains this in more detail, but just to let you know, I'm gonna break this down into, into four phases. We're gonna start at the bottom and go up to the top because this is how we detoxify. So in phase one, I'd like to open that up a little bit to let you know where my mind is when it's in, when we're doing a detoxification system. So there's four or five goals in phase one. The first goal is to move those bowels. We have to be in a situation where we're actually creating a vacuum for movement of body fluids and, and bowel material because toxins accumulate through the body, go into the liver, and then into the bile, and then into the bowel. So if we're having good movement with the bowels, that means our toxins are not going to get recirculated back into the body through the liver. So bowel motility, we try to get a bowel movement going about two to three times a day. And we use supplements for that, of course, and of course, a detoxification diet. The second goal is to get the bile flowing. See, the bile is, uh, interfaces with the liver cells directly. Each liver cell has uh, little tubes around it called biliary cannuliculi, and these this is where the bile goes to the common bile duct and it gets stored. And when we eat, the bile purges in our colon and these toxins then are let out with the stool. It's extremely important that this bile keeps flowing from the liver out into the colon. The third step is microbial imbalances and to create, uh, to create more of a balance of your microbiome. You see, our microbiome is an amazing detoxification organ. It's about the size of a liver, and, it, and it, it's a, a consolidation of over a thousand different species of, 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 of bacteria, fungi, yeast, and viruses. And what they do is that they actually interface with our immune system and our liver, and they help us detoxify by getting the detoxification process going. So if there's a microbial imbalance of some type, and, and the microbes that are in there are actually toxic microbes, and causing disease processes, then we want to get those out of there during this, this phase from the very, very beginning. So we have methods of doing that, and this is part of phase one. The second one is to improve digestion. Or the fourth, the fourth, <laughs> the fourth <laughs> goal is to improve digestion. And that starts with your mindset. See, digestion, the digestive process is actually regulated by a nerve that responds really well to relaxation. It's called the vagus nerve, and that goes and touches all organs and, all, and, all, and it influences your hormones, your ability to digest your food, your kidney filtration rate, as well as many other systems in our body that have this nervous system touching it to integrate with it. But the point is, is that having the uh, relaxation in the mindset of, of allowing change, being at peace, especially during digestion, is essential for optimal digestion. But that vagus nerve itself, if it's activated like it should be, then it suppresses the other part of the fight or flight system that actually holds on to things, such as your poop and your water, your fluid retention in your body, and it shuts down the skin potential to allow um, the exchange of waste through the skin, which is our largest elimination organ. Now, <clears throat> And the fifth and final goal of phase one is actually to patch up the bowels. There's a, 
something that's called leaky gut syndrome, and it's a, it's a real thing. I've seen this off and on in my practice throughout the years, and having, having a, 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 a patched up gut is essential because a leaky gut allows the toxins to get right back into the body, and that creates more demands on the liver backing the toxins back up in the bloodstream. So it's essential that phase one goals are to move those bowels, get the bowel flowing, improve microbial balance, improve your digestion ability all the way through, as well as patching up those bowel, that bowel tissue so that it doesn't leak and, and toxins don't get back into the body. Well, this is phase one. Phase two is next. I hope you enjoyed phase one, but when you're setting yourself up for a detoxification process, Make sure you do phase one first.